Soccer Talk with the Soul. I'm Adam Veal. It's all presented by New Mexico Pinon Coffee. Glad you could join us. Uh, now star player for the Soul and local kid here from New Mexico joining us, Pat Pacheco. Mainly midfielder, but you kind of roam around right from center mid to outside. Uh, such a creative player. Another really good year for you technically. I know the results weren't there, but talk about your experience again here with the Soul. I mean, it's another great year for me. This is, I think, year three. So I've been with uh, Ron and Larry since the beginning. It's been a great experience for me. They've supported me in so many ways on and off the field that, um, you know, the results weren't there this year. But I think for me personally, I find myself getting better every year. And as an individual, I think that's all you can really ask for as a player. You know, sometimes the results are there and sometimes they're not. But as long as you're improving, I think that's all that matters. Keep moving forward. But yeah, personally, uh, you're a fun player to watch because you've got the creativity, you've got the footwork and the skills to kind of make something happen. Um, but you're also smart and you know how to keep possession through the midfield. I love when you're on the outside that you try to come into the midfield and, and, and maybe give room for your outside backs and create. So just a lot of technical ability there for you growing as a player. I mean, you played three years here at UNM and then you finished over at uh, University of Washington we were talking about. So now what's your next step? So I think the big thing moving forward for me is uh, soccer is a big part of my life. It's my number one passion. So the big thing moving forward now that I'm done with school, I'm done playing college ball and I'm playing PDL, that I'll be able to share with the community my soccer experiences and help uh, you know the youth grow in some shape or form, you know, either with Ron's new nonprofit by going out there and teaching kids and coaching kids or Maybe I'll end up a high school coach here in New Mexico or a club coach. I don't know what that might be, but I think moving forward, I'd like to keep participating in soccer some way, shape, or form. And that's good. And that, I mean, you know, soccer is a part of our lives, right, forever. I mean, it's just yeah, something that doesn't exactly. leave. Exactly. This year, particularly, I thought that you guys were fantastic in building the ball and keeping the ball. I think you outpossessed almost every game that I, I was I did for you. And yet, in the final third, that's kind of where it struggled a little bit, right? The finish maybe was, was not there. Yeah, I think this year, especially for our team, you know, we, we realized why they pay such big bucks for those big-time forwards and out there in the EPL and all the big-time leagues. But because, you know, it, it's hard to find goals. And, and sometimes it takes a special player or uh, a creative guy in the midfield to open something up easy for someone to finish. And... This year we weren't as clinical, but sometimes that's just the way of the game. Well, I think that is, I don't think it was a lack of talent. I mean, you guys had a ton of <laughs> yeah. guys that create skill. I mean, even with uh, Sergio Rivas, who came in kind of yes. later into the season, and, and him, and with Isaiah Madrid and yourself. I mean, that's as technical as you can get, I think, yes. in the midfield. <laughs> Just for some reason, the back of the net wasn't shaking as much yeah, as it should have. I, I couldn't agree with you more. I'm, maybe, I'm hoping it's just unlucky and yeah. and, and the talent's there. And, and hopefully coming into next season, there'll be different results. And I, th I think there will be. You know, with guys like Sergio and Isaiah coming back, I, I only see it moving on up. It'll be great. The last win of the season was the last home game of the season in front of a crowd of 2,000 people, and, and that was kind of good for, for the whole program, the whole league, yes, for the soul yeah. at least, right? Uh -huh. it's, I mean, it's always great to play at UNM. Uh, the UNM soccer team always gets great turnout, so being able to play there, great pitch. I mean, fans came out. There was fireworks. It, it was a great experience, and I think the guys love playing there, and hopefully next year we'll get to play out there more. Awesome. Really appreciate it. Pat Pacheco joining us. Uh, great career and more to come from him. Hey, listen, more to come from us here on Soccer Talk with the Soul in just a moment from Re Recarnation. We'll talk with Pamela Reese and also Dan Lodge. He's going to tell you the transfer window happening in the world of soccer. It's all right here, Soccer Talk with the Soul.